Hey everybody, Poop TVX. I wanted to um, touch bases on that Trump speech last night. I wanted to get y'all a look on what y'all think about it. To me, my, my, my opinion of the speech is that it's kind of like when a pimp talk. Sell you all this bullshit. Tell you all the good things. And then tell you to go out there and get the money. That's exactly what I think of that damn speech. And then he put some black people on there like that lady that had 22 years or something for selling the drugs and the other dude that had 30 or something years that shouldn't have been in there in the first place for that fucking long. It's been kingpins. Freeway Ricky Ross got out. And instead you had this black woman in there with had no no background, history background, or criminal activity, nothing. And she in there 22 years was selling fucking drugs. See, that's what they do. They throw you a bone and act like they did something. That woman wasn't supposed to be in there in the first fucking place for that goddamn long. At all. But oh, oh, okay, we saved some we saved some blacks for y'all. That's what it looked like. Like, oh, we say, oh, we, oh, we saved some blacks for y'all. We got, we got them out. So now y'all, now y'all know, I, you know, y'all know I love black people now. The fuck out my face, nigga. They weren't supposed to be there in the first goddamn place. And another thing, the 21 Savage situation. You know, what's crazy is that, yeah, his um, visa was up for how many years it's been up. When he was out there talking, well, I don't even know. I didn't even listen to his music. I just heard a little snippet. But when he was talking that um, that drugs and and gang gang shit and all that shit, it was fine for him to be out here. Totally fine. As soon as you start talking a little bit of positive shit, get the fuck out. Your shit expired, and then you gotta go. Because that's how they do. If you start talking anything positive to try and up, up bring the blacks, that shit going to be cut at the throat. Just like the gang situation. All these gangs that's going on. They cut, they cut down the Black Panther Party. And Malcolm X and his um, his um, situation, they cut that shit down, but they won't stop the Crips and Bloods. What the fuck? What the? I mean, do you guys see that shit? Are you guys seeing it? Let 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 us throw the niggas a few bones. Let us throw the niggas a few bones and let them know that we um, we care so we can do what we have to do. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. And if you think I'm going to fall for that, nigga, you goddamn crazy as a fish with titties. You think I'm falling for some shit like that. His whole speech was straight bullshit. Straight bullshit. And I understand the black woman. She happy. She just want to be out. I get that. I know. I, I get that. She just want to be out of jail. Just like the brother did. But don't for one second think that Trump wanted to do that without having something else he's going to gain on doing that. It's bigger than that.
people get sucked up into that shit, man, and think that he's saying that it's pimping shit, man. Pimps do that. And we way too street and too smarter to know that what, get, that we can tell when some pimp shit jumping off, man. At least, at least I hope you can. I hope so. I ain't gonna talk too long on it, man, because it was just, it's just some bullshit, man. He think he think we he think we fucking stupid, man. And some are, some are that stupid. It's just it's just crazy, man. But on that note, man, what I think about Trump's speech, man, I think it's bullshit. <laughs>